Wind loads are part of weather-related variable actions on structures, and it should be pretty obvious how they originate. When the wind blows, it hits an obstacle, which is a building in our case. In this video, we explain which forces exactly act on the building. To begin, wind does not blow with the same magnitude everywhere. At each region, different wind speeds can be expected. These are defined in the standards and a corresponding wind load is applied depending on the wind speed. In the United States, the wind load varies between coastal and inland areas. Thus, we have to know the location of a structure first before calculating the applicable wind load. Quick tip, check out the GeoZone tool on our website. This is a very useful tool to display wind, snow and seismic loads at any location. Simply select the action in standard, enter the location and start the structural design. Wind zones generally define the velocity pressure, but there are also other factors that can have a huge impact on the wind load. First, the ground surface roughness and topography. Different peak velocity pressures occur depending if you are on the open sea or in a dense urban area. Broadly speaking, it means fewer obstructions equals higher loads. Wind speed increases with the height of a building. There are no wind loads at zero elevation, but they increase greatly the higher a structure is getting. How heavily a building is loaded also depends on its geometry. Large flat surfaces provide a huge area for wind exposure. In contrast, you can use wind tunnel tests to design a more aerodynamic building to reduce the wind load. In addition to the wind pressure, there is also the wind suction. Wind suction occurs on the opposite side of the wind pressure and has a smaller magnitude which of course also must be considered. All this information can be easily applied to rigid structures, however in the case of flexible structures such as suspension bridges, wind loads can cause vibrations. To determine this effect, wind tunnel tests are likely essential. We will not go into further detail in this video, but we will show you how you can quickly and easily generate wind loads in RFM. In the menu entry tools, generate load from wind loads, select your structure type and the standard. In the new window, enter your basic parameters such as structure height, wind load zone, etc. And finally, click on the nodes of the roof and walls to select the wind surface area. And that's it. You have just created a complete wind load of your structure with just a few clicks. We hope you liked this video and we look forward to your feedback. And as always, thanks for watching.